Pajamas? Look at all these fun animals! My pajamas are for our Clubhouse Christmas pajama party! And I'm in charge of getting all the supplies! Now, what do we need for a Christmas pajama party? Yes! Lots of Christmas pajamas! And party horns! And we'll want some music so we can sing and dance. This is going to be such a great party! Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy! Hoo, hoo. I can see that you're making a list. Is there a party that I have missed? Not yet, Ollie. We're getting ready for a Christmas pajama party. I'm in charge of getting all the party supplies. Christmas is a special day, it's true. And I have a story about why just for you. Listen to this story, just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Hey Junior Power Kids, welcome to the clubhouse. I am so glad that you're here today to hear a very important story from my very favorite book called the Bible. That's right, and whose book is the Bible? God's book, that's right. And yell really loud if you know how many chapters are in it. 66, and it's broken into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. So today's story picks up where we left off last week. So last week, we heard the story about how an angel came to Mary and told her some really big news, that she was going to have a baby, that she was going to have God's son. Can you yell out what his name was? That's right, his name is Jesus. So our story today starts with Joseph and Mary. So Mary is the one who was pregnant with baby Jesus. And Joseph was her soon-to-be husband. So the hard thing was they had to take a very long trip. See, the rulers at that time said that everybody needed to go back to the town they came from so they could be counted. So Mary and Joseph had a very long trip from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. So can you tell me or think of how and why that trip might be really hard? Very good thinking. So Mary was about to have a baby, right? So she had a really big belly. She was very, very pregnant because the baby was going to come any day and she had to take a very long trip. So they started on their journey from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. And when they got there, they had to look around for a place to stay. So we call it an inn, which was like a hotel. So they got to the first inn and they knocked on the door. Unfortunately, there was no room. Joseph and Mary were a little bit worried. They didn't know what they were going to do. They really needed a dry, warm place to stay. So they kept looking and they went to another inn. And they knocked on that door and there was no room there either. But, the innkeeper there had a great idea. He said, there's no room here in the inn, but he had a stable, a barn in the back that they could stay in for the night. Mary and Joseph were relieved to have somewhere to rest. So that night, Mary and Joseph stayed in the stable, which is like a barn where all the animals slept and it probably smelled pretty bad. But something amazing happened in that stable that night. Mary 
gave birth to baby Jesus. And the Bible tells us that she wrapped him in some cloths and laid him in a manger. Now a manger is what the animals actually eat out of. But that night it was a bed for the best gift to ever come to the world, baby Jesus. So, so there's Jesus. your story, and it's all true. Jesus is special. He was born for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus was born near animals like cows and sheep. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know one more thing we need to add to the list. A birthday cake because Christmas is Jesus' birthday. Oh, and a candle. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye.